Well, morning everybody. Hope you're all well. It's, um, Sunday 17th of December today. And uh, we've got an impromptu ride out because Bry texted on uh, Friday evening and asked if anybody fancied a ride. So uh, here we are. Bry, Paul and me. And this is the first outing for it's not his first outing, but first outing with us for Paul on his um, on his new Kawasaki Versus 650. Bry's on his uh, Suzuki SV650 and I'm on the Pocket Rocket um, Hunter, Broad Enfield Hunter 350. We ain't going far today, we're just uh, we're going to Worcester. Bry's taking us to Worcester, which will make a pleasant change. Um, different microphone setup today. We've a little bit of experiment. I'm using the uh, the DJI microphones. Uh, so I've got the receiver on the Action Three, and I've got the microphone in just inside the front of my helmet. So it's just just experimenting to just have a have a see how this uh, how this setup sounds. And if it's no good, then this video may never see the light of day. But you don't find things out unless you try, do you? Looks like something's going on from street bike today. Probably a uh, Christmas thing, I'd imagine. They do a uh, Christmas toy run to the children's hospital, and that's probably what it is. And what a nice day for it. Uh, well, certainly we couldn't get Kev out with us. Uh, but uh, next year, if he don't start coming out, Kev, I hope you're listening. I'm going to come up to your house and uh, and drag you out. <laughs> I'm not joking, but uh, yeah. We need you out next year, Kev. We've missed you this year. And Elle. Missed both of you this year. So, uh, yeah. If you don't come out, we're going to come on mass up your house and make a noise outside. <laughs> Until you do. I will have seen the, uh, the fitting of the uh, free-flowing Enfield Precision Exhaust I fitted. Blimey, that one uh, got a lot of views. In the first day it was a thousand views. I already rarely get that sort of uh, response and a lot of you enjoyed it and uh, found it useful. And thanks for the, the positive feedback and the, uh, the comments on that one. Uh, this, uh, I'll find how-to videos where you've got somebody actually doing a, a, uh, a fit or something really useful if you come to do something yourself so uh, do like to make them as well well let's say thanks for commenting on that one and, uh, and watching it all of you and there's a lot of you I think today it's about two and a half thousand views wow and thank you to all of you that watched the Switzerland um, tour videos. It's almost come to an end now. Uh, I've got one more to do, and that's just me and Paul. It's three days condensed into a very short video of us coming back, just to, just to complete the the whole thing, really. So that'll be coming soon as well. Or it may already come, depending on the order I uh, I lose the videos off here. So, uh, yeah, we'll first service everything out of the way on this point now. Just trying to get the, uh, the rest of the 1,200 running miles on it. 
quite mild today. Not cold at all. Any of you are wondering what those um, pouches are on the back of my gloves? I bought some heated batteries for these uh, Gerbing or some batteries, not heated batteries, some batteries for these heated gloves from Gerbing. There's nowhere to put them in, they're quite bulky and I've tried a few things and I, uh, I came with a solution that uh, the, uh, the sort of uh, cases, the neoprene cases, the joggers use to strap their phone around their, um, their arm. They'd be perfect for the job and, uh, and actually they are they're just right for the job. I fastened around my glove and the, uh, the battery sits quite nicely in the back of there. Not very aesthetically pleasing to look at but uh, it's uh, function over form on this one to be fair. So I'm uh, staying around 50 miles an hour with, uh, with running this, the Hunter in still. Uh, early next year I'm going to do the uh, annual service on the Scram, I'll get that done. Uh, I'm almost there, I'm ready to get the service done, first service, 600 miles on the uh, Speed Twin. So January, February time I've got those to get done. I'm probably going to wait until the weather is a little less chilly. And then uh, end of February, early March, got to get the CCM um, so, uh, not service, MOT. Well, it's been a uh, been a really busy year for us. Uh, I don't think we've ever ridden our bikes as much as we have. Not so much for Brian because he had to. He, uh, he couldn't ride his bike this year. Um, very much. But for the rest of us, we've done and we've done stacks of riding. Um, next series of videos to come will be uh, Big Paul and me when we went up to Sky in the west of Highlands. I'll be starting on them sh shortly over Christmas. And then, uh, yes, yeah, just loads. It's been the busiest year we've had and the best year we've had. Uh, I've really, uh, really enjoyed it. Done a lot, seen a lot, had some great times. I don't know whether, whether the microphone says it now, whether you pick it up the exhaust note on this bike, but it sounds lovely with the new, uh, with the Enfield Precision can and the, uh, with the baffles out. And we'd like to get the last of the running miles onto this bike and really be able to unleash a little bit more fun with it. A little bit get it up to really about 60 is where I want to be. I know I can go up there now if I want to but I do like to try and follow the uh, follow the rules a little bit. I want to try and get my daughter Sarah out next year as well. Uh, she hasn't been out at all with us this year. I'm going to start nagging her. So, oh, a week tomorrow, a oh, week today is Christmas Eve. And, uh, blimey, this year's gone fast. I don't know whether the rest of you have uh, noticed, but this is, uh, you know, I can remember vividly last Christmas morning. Vividly. Um, so it was last week, just bonkers. And, uh, then we got the plans, we were going to do Switzerland, going to do Scott, next thing you know it's all done. And, uh, and you're into se suddenly September's on us, and now December's on us. And uh, you're just going, oh crikey, if it's going to appear to be going by this quick now, we need to do a lot more, uh, a lot more ridings out. Side and have a look at that bike. How are you getting on with it? It's 
đôi sửa đi We'll have a look at that when we get to Worcester So, I've been musing names for this Hunter I still haven't settled on one um, and I'm saying I might even do a little poll and let you guys choose a name um, but I'm uh, I'm leaning towards calling it Sprocket Rocket uh, Sprocket Rocket Pocket Rocket because it it does seem like a little pocket rocket to me it's just yeah now it's uh, as it's loosening up you're going bloody hell uh, it's it's lovely. I don't know whether it's because it's small and it makes it feel a little bit more powerful than it is, but uh, it's not really a slouch at all. And I think once I've uh, maybe done a few more mods, I'm definitely going to put a, a DNA air filter in it in the new year, and then possibly look to see how we can decat it. Uh, I think it'll unleash a whole new world of fun with it. Paul's having some... He really thinks that... Uh, well, you've seen the videos with him riding it. And he's off, he's off and he's away. But I think a lot of it is down to your riding ability as well. If you, if you used to ride... I said it before. If you rode bikes when you were younger, low-powered bikes, and you had to squeeze that extra power out of them, then you know how to do it. And it's just, it's very much feels like that with this bike. If you... If you're an old school bike rider, you could ring a few extra. You could ring the power out of it. And I think that's why it's so enchanted. It's because it, uh, it has got a very... Makes you feel like uh, you're in those days again. Yeah, I'm just holding it here. Still undecided at the moment with regards to whether we're going to go to Picos or do the Wild Atlantic Way or some of the Wild Atlantic Way. Hopefully we'll make that decision early in the new year, just being able to make sure we've got the leave, get their leave at the right time, leave from work. So uh, we'll have to look at that just after Christmas. Well, I don't really got to do any planning for the Wild Atlantic Way because I did that back in 2019, so we were going to go in 2020. Uh, so that's all planned, that'll probably just find hotels again. Um, what I might have to do, all i definitely got to do is, is plan for Picos if we're going to go there. But that's all, I think the problem with that is will we be able to get accommodation at this late stage? We, we shall see. Look at that old coach. Go on, Whittles. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, my son. Whittles, coaches. Things you see out on a Sunday morning, eh? Oh, quick one. This morning the channel has uh, hit 721 subscribers. Bloody Nora. Um, thank you. I'm going to do a proper thank you at 7.50 as I uh, stated. At uh, 7.21, I've actually watched it flick over this morning. Wow, uh, I can't thank you all enough. Uh, I can't believe it's 721 people 
uh, uh, liked what we do enough to subscribe and I uh, wow I really appreciate I'm humbled by the fact that you do and I th thank you from on behalf of all of us thank you for taking the time to to uh, to watch the channel subscribe and, uh, and leave comments really do appreciate every last one here Still just can't believe it. Now I see it creeping up. Oh ah, wow! How's this happening? But it is, and I'm, uh, I'm immensely grateful. We're all immensely grateful, and hopefully we can uh, continue to amuse you with our nonsense, and take you on our journeys and our rides out. I hope you like my little Indian flag on the handlebars. Just wanted, uh, wanted to display the uh, the hunter's heritage, where he came from, his home country. Got to give him an intercom. He needs an intercom. <laughs> yeah, you've lost without it, are you? Ah. Uh, I pull. I've got two balls, so I thought I'd better get some. Yeah, I'll pull up over there, Mucker. coming down over there beautiful what a joyful morning the all the boyos are uh, seizing this opportunity Blimey. Well, shorty stay on Thursday the 21st, which is also my daughter's birthday, Sarah. Winter solstice. And then 
and uh, slowly the nights get brighter. And before we know it, I imagine spring will be upon us. I know you shouldn't wish your life away, but uh, I do love spring. Make a sailing straight past on this occasion, like we did before. <laughs> like a wobble. Indicator dive. Beautiful church up ahead. Stunning. tree on the village green. Beautiful. What a lovely place that is. Village life.
passing through a village an idyllic English country village what better time to say to everybody thank you for all you've done for the channel this year by supporting it in your own little ways looking forward to having lots of uh, new videos and interactions with you all next year um, and just to wish you all personally and all of you and your families a really Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous new year to all of you hope you get everything you wish for and more and uh, we'll see you again in the new year to start the 2024 ride outs um, so there you go have a great time enjoy see you all soon thanks for everything and from us from all the guys from Big Paul, Little Paul Paul with the uh, Honda 404 um, uh, Kev, Hell Joe Bry uh, I'm hoping trying to forget anybody here Gav all of us have a great time and I'll see you soon so the hell of it and Rob we've got a very Rob <laughs> <laughs>